What up, folks? All right, so I'm coming to you today. Wait, this is Alex, by the way. Just saying. Okay, so I got a story to tell you. So go ahead and sit down, grab some popcorn, get a Hawaiian punch juice pack or whatever. Okay, so first thing I want to do is like kind of just say, you know, like I try not to fit into a lot of stereotypes. But there is one stereotype that I kind of fit into, and it's swimming. If you drop me in the water and I can see where I need to go, I can get there. But if you drop me in the water and just say, just stay where you are, it's not going to happen at all. So when I was younger, I had an older friend. His name was Micah. One day during the summertime, we actually went to the pool. He came up to me and was like, Alex, I have some high school girls coming to the pool with us today. Don't do anything crazy, please. Now, if you know anything about me, it's like crazy is like my middle name. It's like Alex Crazy Hagens. But to not embarrass my older friend and his high school girls, I was like, yeah, crazy. I wouldn't do anything crazy, not ever. As I'm sitting there reveling at the pool, planning my future in the Olympics, the lifeguard walks up to me and looks right down at me. And she's like, so we're going to have a safe day today, right? And I tell her, yeah, of course. You know, my plan is to be an Olympic swimmer. Of course, this plan was made like three minutes ago, but still, the plan is a plan. So she says, okay, and she hops up on her lifeguard ladder or whatever it's called. And Micah and I are just like in the pool hanging out. So then all of a sudden, here come the two girls. So as usual, both of our demeanors change entirely. So the girls walk up and I'm all like, how are you doing? My name is Alex. What was your name? And Mike is all like stretching in the background like, oh yeah, hey. Yeah, welcome to the pool. Took you guys so long. So after about, you know, like 10, 15 minutes, one of the girls just comes up and says, I think I want to go off the high dive. To which the other girl says, I think I want to go off the high dive. To which Micah says, cool, let's go off the high dive. So I'm thinking in my head, I can't be the only person that's not going to go off the high dive. And I'm also thinking in my head, I know how to swim, but I don't know how to like swim swim. So, I look at the high dive, and I see that it's not very far from the shallow end. Like, the high dive is here, and here's the shallow end's little, like, bobby thing. So me, being the master athlete that I am, think in my head, oh, I'll just jump off the high dive all the way into the shallow end. It's gonna be perfect. So we're walking up to the high dive, and Micah sees me, like, tagging along, and he looks at me, and he's like, Alex, you don't know how to swim. And I just look at him, bro. I got this. So, the two girls go, they swim around, ha ha ha, Mikey jumps off, blah 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 blah. I get up to the high dive and all eyes are on me. I feel like I'm in the Olympics already. I look up to the lifeguard, she's looking down on me, smiling, might I add. Look over to Micah, he's over here looking at me like, yeah, do it, do it. Girls are over there looking at me, whispering, probably something like, girl, he kinda cute though. Yeah, but he sure is crazy. So, I take a deep breath. Everything goes black. I open my eyes, tunnel vision, because I know what's about to happen. I start running down the high dive, just running, sprint, full sprint. So I plant my foot on the end, about to take off. I slip. I slip and come this way into the water. I, I, not lying, I roll into the water. And I'm underwater, like, this is it. This is how you're gonna die. So I'm kicking and flailing and trying not to die. I get a glimpse of the diving board. I'm under the diving board. I somehow jumped off the diving board and landed under it. I don't know how that's possible. And I mean, it was a perfect swan dive off the lifeguard thing into the water, swoop me up, and I'm sitting here just like, huh. Oh. And at the end of this, the lifeguard has me on the side of the pool or whatever, and she looks at me and she's like, aren't you the one who wanted to be an Olympic swimmer? No, that was not me. A, who, a what? I don't even, the Olympics? But the whole like moral of this whole story is, do you think during the summertime, I'm not around the pool? Oh, I'm the first one in the pool. I'll go out to a pool and just swim this way, swim this way, swim this way. As long as my feet can touch, I'm golden. And people always say, well, you really need to learn how to swim. Why? I figure I live in Texas, so I don't have to worry about tsunamis. I don't have to worry about undertows. I don't have to worry about falling off a ship into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I, any of that. I don't have to worry about any of that. Whenever I go to a beach, I stand right on the edge of the beach, getting my feet wet, and I'm thinking in my head, I am in the ocean right now.
So yeah, like don't let your fears say what you can and can't do. Do what you can do, just be smart about it and know what you're doing. On a side note, I wanna say thank you to everybody who sent me questions. I'm getting a nice little treasure trove up of them. And so I'm gonna start answering those here really soon. Um, if you have any questions, you can either leave them in the comment section or you can just email me or Facebook me or Tumblr me or any other type of social media. Just all the links are down below. Hit like and subscribe. I'm gonna talk to you later.